Well, hello everybody. You've all been asking for a new tutorial of some sort. I've been getting a lot of requests and feedback lately and uh, possibilities of uh, new how-to videos. Well, I do know I have a few unfinished projects. Uh, they're not unfinished because I don't want to unfinish them. I mean, uh, because I don't want to finish them. It's because I have not had a opportunity and or the correct equipment to finish them. But I have a good one for you. And I was actually requ it was actually requested um, how to build a solar panel. So uh, we're going to be building solar panels here. Uh, pricing uh, will be able to get under a dollar a watt. Um, ideally, I think we're going to be hitting about fifty cents a watt approximately. We'll be using uh, uh, repurposed materials um, like such as the uh, actual paneling is a storm window that was going to be thrown out. There's nothing wrong with the window. Actually, it could still be used today, but with all the new upgrades to the higher efficiency windows, not needed. So, a uh, few materials you're going to need. Uh, get your hands on a used storm window. Uh, ideally, you're going to want one with an aluminum frame. Uh, do not use a plexiglass window or any kind of plastic based as um, even the ones that are supposedly UV stable uh, will eventually yellow and fade and get um, you know milky colored while sitting in direct sunlight all day. Uh, you want a nice glass one tempered is always best if you can find it. Uh, aluminum framing works the best. You want some rigidity um, and that's what I'll be using. There are going to be a few other steps to it um, I'm going to be using some plastic board from the last presidential election. I'm sure you've all seen those signs on the side of the freeway uh, during a presidential election, vote for this candidate, vote for that candidate. Well, I managed to get my hands on about a hundred of them uh, that were going to get thrown out. I was hoping I'd be able to peel the lettering off, but apparently it's printed directly on. I wanted to peel the lettering off because we have a vinyl plotter and we could put our own sign on it. That stuff's not cheap. Uh, but you can use a, a host of other things. Uh, feel free to use plastic backing to it, but um, the side face in the sun, you do not want plastic. Um, so, some materials you will need. Obviously, you're going to need solar cells. We're going to be using 6 inch by 6 inch solar cells. So each cell, each one of these cells is. Uh, uh, one half of a watt, so 0.5 watts, or excuse me, 0.5 volts, one half volt. And each cell is approximately 5 watts. And um, I'm going to have to measure it out yet, but I think I'm going to do somewhere around 22 volt solar cells. Um, I have three of these glass pa panes, and I have a few smaller glass panes as well. Uh, some other things you will need. You're going to need a soldering iron. And you're going to want it at least a 40 watt soldering iron. And most soldering irons come with a what's called a pencil tip. It's the tip that comes to a little point. For the purpose of tabbing solar cells, you want a chisel tip. Because we're going to be dragging it across these little lines on the cells to spread, to spread the solder out. Uh, so you can get a nice kit. I got I got this nice kit. Came with uh, everything needed and a little holder for the soldering, the soldering iron and tip, real nice. Just screw it right in, and you're good to go. Uh, this kit was about ten bucks. Uh, there's nicer ones out there. Uh, maybe if I start making a lot of these panels, I might get one of the. Uh, more adjustable temp soldering irons but uh, as a basic uh, this was an upgrade previously I just had my dollar store ones which uh, for just doing minor electrical soldering of wiring on uh, motorcycles and scooters a 20 watt was just fine uh, but uh, to be able to keep up with the heat long enough to spread the solder all the way across uh, it was highly recommended to use at least a 40 maybe a 50 or 60 depending on solder, uh, the solder type used uh, we also have, we're also going to need bus wire. This is the wire that connects rows of cells together. 
And then we also need tab wire. The tab wire is what goes down the length of the cells and then connects the positive to the negative sides. This is the negative side and the back side is usually the positive side. So basically what's going to happen in what's called tabbing is where you lay down the wire and you're going to want it twice the length of the cell. You're going to lay down the wire, solder it to one side and then that would go underneath the cell next to it and would then run down the length of the back side because you're going from negative to positive or from positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative from cell to cell to cell. And that's how you build up to the desired voltage. Uh, you put them in a series to build up the voltage and then you put a group of series of cells in parallel to build up the wattage. And uh, Like I said, each cell is about 5 watts, 4 to 5. Um, these were supposed to be grade A cells, uh, but for the price I get them for, uh, they're not quite, um, they do have some blemishes and defects on them. Uh, for the price that I paid for them, uh, the blemishes and defects are uh, fairly negligible and will not affect, it's all cosmetic, it, will not, it should not affect the uh, output of the cells. Um, any noticeable way, maybe one or two percent of its maximum output. So, uh, okay, so say a cell is supposed to put out five watts, it might out put out 4.9 or 4.95 watts. So, like I say, negligible. And considering that we're going to be building a, a solar panel for less than uh, right around 50 cents a watt, maybe less, um, depending on the cost of the materials. Uh, now, the, uh, the I, I usually get these in package deals with the cells. Uh, this, the package usually comes with uh, the tabbing wire, the bus wire. Um, it also comes with, you're going to need a flux pen. Now this, uh, and it comes with solder. Um, now, the solder is fluxless. It's much easier to use a flux pen. And, uh, what you do with the flux pen is it goes down, you, you draw a line across the cell on the, uh, on the tabbing line, tabbing marks there. And then uh, you put down a little dab of the solder, put your, uh, put your uh, tabbing wire across, and then solder away. They also, the kits come with uh, diodes, backflow diodes. And what these do is is uh, keep power from going out back out of the cell. So say you have you're, instead of charging or instead of feeding into the grid, you're going to be charging a battery bank. Well, you put one of these in the line between the panels and the battery bank, so that way when the sun goes down, instead of power moving from the panel to the battery, otherwise the, the ba um, once the sun's down, the power would go from the battery into the panel, and the panel would then radiate that power as heat. Uh, which is kind of a neat idea as a heater, but it'd be a rather expensive heater for how much solar panels cost. These are fairly cheap. You can even get them at uh, Radio Shack, very low cost. Like I say, a kit comes with it. Now, um, this kit had 1,000 watts worth of solar panels, which would be 250 cells. And um, let's see, so we got, what do we got covered here? We got uh, solder iron tabbing wire, bus wire, solder, diodes, flux pen, uh, remember chisel tip on the uh, soldering iron, and of course your, your cells. Now, excuse me, I'm going to actually have to move around this way. Now, Cells are very fragile, so be very, very careful with them. They do break very easily. I broke this one just by almost gently, gently trying to pick it up. I bent it just a little bit too much, 
And that's what happened. And uh, don't toss these away. Uh, believe it or not, even this little fraction of a cell still can put out power. This is probably a half watt worth right there. You can probably still get out of here. And then uh, this is all still usable. So maybe instead of using it on a large panel, use it on a smaller one. A small project of some sort. Uh, and there we have it, the next video. Um, I just want to get the preliminaries done so you guys can start shopping for your materials. Um, if you want, uh, you're more than welcome to message me. I am sell selling the, uh, the cell kits that have the uh, tabbing, the wire, you know, everything except the soldering iron uh, for uh, $450. I got to make some money on the deal, right? And uh, that includes shipping. Uh, and then, uh, otherwise, you're welcome to find a source of yourself. Uh, for the homemade panels, don't go out and waste your money on grade A cells. You can get the ones like this with minor blemishes and defects rather cheaply. Because no matter how good you make it, you're not going to get a homemade panel to last as long as a, as a uh, factory-built panel. Uh, they're a great return on investment, though. You Usually you'll see about five to eight years life out of these before they, they start declining and it's usually due to moisture, poorly sealed panels. Um, now there's encapsulates you can do but once you start adding all that you really bring up the cost. Then you might as well just go straight to a manufactured panel and be done with it. Even a Chinese panel at that. Um, so I'll see you guys next video and um, any questions just post down below and uh, if I have time this afternoon or tomorrow I'm going to try shooting a video uh, showing how to tab uh, tab these cells which um, a lot of people are showing incorrect or poor methods of doing so I'm, gonna, I'm hoping to be able to correct that and uh, show you guys uh, the, the more correct way of tabbing cells so that way uh, your, your tab wire sticks and you'll have a lot much much more reliable cell and uh, I notice a lot of other people making these videos are running their soldering on here it's way too hot uh, I'm not going to name names, but I watched a video where the kid said it's normal. Or kid, I shouldn't say kid. Could have been 20s, maybe even early 30s. Uh, it said it's normal for the solar cell to warp and bend a little bit as you're soldering it due to the heat. No, that is not normal. You are doing it wrong. And I'm hoping to be able to show you guys the proper way of doing that. And uh, this video will even go as far as showing you not the most legal method due to all the regulations and uh, inspections and permits that needed but we'll show you guys how to connect your solar cells to the grid and back feed that power into the utility and before I get heat about how dangerous it is this that uh, illegal um, remember this video is going worldwide not every country has the restrictions on this that we do in the US and uh, even then uh, when do you not do illegal stuff? Done properly, it can be just as safe as any other system. Although, if possible, I do recommend getting a UL approved uh, uh, grid tie inverter and legally installing it to the grid. I do not endorse any illegal methods of connecting to the power grid as people can and have gotten hurt and or killed doing illegal hookups and other illegal stuff, so on and so forth. You get the idea. That was my disclaimer. You're responsible for your own actions, no one else. Uh, so I'll see you guys next video. I better start uploading this because it's going to be a few gigs.